What is good my video game nation? It is your boy the Tad and Monk back with another video today. Now today's discussion we're gonna be looking at is a popular horror game title that is an in interest to everybody. It's called Dead by Daylight. Now Dead by Daylight has been around for a while now and has been su the support expansion of this game is so significant and doing very well. It's actually making the game very good in so many ways in, in terms of, you know, of DLC, new killers, new survivors, and um, they're coming with add-on packs. And again, I got all the killers and, you know, Applejack is playing it too. And it's such a great game. And, you know, with the Friday the 13th franchise is already put to shelf. It's already... RIP, no more of this, no more content. Friday the 13th has been dirt, has been burned in ashes. Dead by Daylight is taking the big spotlight when it comes to terms of horror survival. And it's actually multiplayer, so it's really good. The reason why I'm here is because I want to discuss what could be a possible way to continue the game's expansion and in terms of supporting the game, deal future DLC content, Will there be a story mode? Will there be an offline mode? Will you play AI bots? Or will there be anything you can do to kind of make the game fun or, you know, free for all or an offline mode that can be really fun without ever playing a group of people? You know, is there anything like that that can we be looking at the near future? Could be. It's just based on research and the developers pretty much. But in terms of content now there was a Japanese website where there were some group of hackers and actually look into the game and they actually found that there was a Jason Voorhees slot under the killers and I mean Jason Voorhees he would been a good killer if he was in the game but he had his own game with the Friday the 13th but it, it did not go well it did not go well um, still having some bugs, some glitches, lagging going on on the copy that I have on Friday the 13th, even on, on offline mode. But in terms of that, you know, we have such famous killers in this game, which could really make the game really well. But most of these killers have to have their own game, like Friday the 13th does. You know, the new killer, the clown, he is a special, he is a great killer. The new one that just came out. As you can see, he stomps your head three times, he rips your finger off, he tastes it. Oh my god, it's so gruesome. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a new killer, love it. And we have Leatherface here, which is an amazing character in the game. I am a fan of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series, movie series, and I want him to see him in his new game. Why not make a game with just Leatherface, just like Friday the 13th? I'm pretty sure everyone would love to see that with terms of characters, costumes, multiplayer, offline, you know, single player challenges. Take the same mechanics or same game modes that Friday the 13th does and put that in these games that makes an individual killer the way they are. Also, this is how Jason feels that, oh, man, I'm not in Dead by Daylight. My game sucked and went RIP. This is how Jason actually feels when he takes Leatherface. You know, yeah, which is pretty messed up. And you know, Michael Myers taking the big spotlight. As you can see, this is an amazing kill by him. Michael Myers has always been my favorite. He's a high level that I have with him in the game. He is a wonderful addition to the game, first of all. You got the hag. She is brutal. Her kill is very brutal. She has a good stealth. And the trap where she could set traps, basically teleportation and scare off the survivors, which is very genius to have her in the game. The Huntress, brutal. She is brutal. Throwing axe as projectiles. You, I just hope you got some good stealth. Also, Nightmare on Elm Street. I did not get a chance to play Freddy Krueger, but he may be a hard type of character because he has some... You know, ways to slow you down pretty much, but everyone plays differently. So I'm pretty sure most players love Freddy and some of them are just getting to know him. Some are having a hard time playing as him. Believe me, I've been there myself, but I'm good with Michael Myers pretty much. Leatherface is a hard one for me, basically. Alright, and this is another kill. The Doctor is another hard one that I'm finding problems using. But yeah, pretty much. 
Also, um, the what's this? The original killer, the very first killer. He's basically easy for everyone to use, but oh well. But yeah, with Jigsaw in the picture and the Huntress, there there are some good killers that are in the game. But in terms of that, you know, what are you guys thinking? What can we see in terms of content? What can we look at? What can we expect with the lifestyle of this game? Because the game is so good, you know, it, it has so many good contents. It has so many good characters to pick from. We still did not get Left Behind character from Dead, uh, from Left 4 Dead. He's only for the PC version. As the Steam and the PC version of this game it is so popular, everyone loves playing online with consoles too. And it's really good that this game is having a good audience, fan, audience fans who are into horror survival game. Now, people saying Friday the 13th was better. It was better when it was being supported and getting content after content after content. We did not get a single road map after the first one. We did not get a third. We did not get a second road map. We did not. And it was supposed to happen. Lawsuit came through. Victor Miller came in, claimed that he has the full rights of Friday the 13th, but the, the original director, they changed it, made it their way. Not Victor Miller, but that's going to be discussed in another video. Friday 13th is dead, and we're just moving on from that. But I will be doing videos on it, apparently. But with Dead by Daylight in the spotlight, is uh, people saying that Friday F13, um, F13 was better, but Dead by Daylight prevailed. Still had support. No lawsuits. No content. Well, more content still, but, you know... I don't think that Dead by Daylight can have any right claims for using Jason just yet because of this, what's going on. And if this were to happen before with MKX, they probably wouldn't use Jason either. But they did, way before the lawsuit happened. But like I said, let me go. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think. Would you like to see an offline mode, um, single player challenges? Would you like to see? Um, let me see, offline AI bots, single player again, um, more killers, story mode of oh, Dead by Daylight. Let me guys know, let me know what you guys think about it. And as always, I am the Tatted Monk and I just hit you with that one-two punch. Peace.